With a mounting number of lawsuits directed at Hawaiian Electric due to the Maui fires, questions loom over possible consequences for the company and its subsidiaries. Manolo Morales spoke with some experts to get answers. Lahaina residents and Maui County have filed lawsuits against Hawaiian Electric, saying it should have turned the power off before the fires erupted. But former Public Utilities Chair Randall Iwasa questions if that would have been a wise choice. I don't know if that's a responsible thing to do. We, In retrospect, you can say that. But had they done it, uh, are they talking about the entire island of Maui? To be uh, losing power for to at least 24 hours. Lawsuits from deadly wildfires in California forced the utility company PG&E into declaring bankruptcy. Iwasi points out that Hawaii is in a different and a more difficult position. We don't have uh, brother and sister power companies next to us in case we go down they can step in we don't have it we have one company Hiko's parent company Hawaiian Electric Industries owns about a dozen other companies including American Savings Bank in its latest SEC filing the company said American Savings Bank customer deposits are safe there is no risk to customer deposits as a result of legal claims related to the fires Financial experts say there are usually legal walls that protect subsidiaries from lawsuits, but even if the courts rule against that, bank accounts are also protected by FDIC up to $250,000. Anytime you have FDIC insurance, you sh it should give you some peace of mind, even, even in a situation like this. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.